grand jury decided it was justifiable homicide. The police investigation failed to find evidence that you deliberately shot that boy. You were acting in defense of your life. They believe me. And Lieutenant Kojak. Of course, I must tell you that you could still be indicted if evidence to the contrary does show up. But under the circumstances, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Yeah, he had no choice. The evidence was all his way. Yeah, but were they right? Lieutenant, I just want to thank you. I know you were very hard to clear me. Well, that's nice of you to say so. Thanks. Where are you going now? Uh, to the nearest bar. They make a suggestion? Yeah. Go see Mrs. Stronach. In case you forgot, she's still in mourning. <laughs> Jack. Oh, yeah, Buczynski, I got a message for you from Schwartz to Deli, yeah. He said he never saw a guy who can put it away like you can. He wants to get your transfer down here. <laughs> oh, yeah? What's the address? Right. Cracker. Cracker! Lieutenant, you got a minute? I told Daly it'd be okay. It'll just take a second. All right, go ahead, take. Well, sir, it's about my new assignment. They have me down at Borough headquarters on a desk job, limited duty. Captain Nolder's orders. And until he makes his final recommendation, you and your gun are on the show. Well, that's not fair. The grand jury cleared me. Why can't I go back to your squad? I know it's rough, but you gotta live with it. Well, what else does Captain Nolan want? Captain Nolan is a detective. Yeah, he likes to tie the knots, close the loopholes. He wants witnesses. Which we may be able to get him, incidentally. Buczynski called, he found the gun dealer. From him, we'll find out who he sold it to, and then we'll find out who used it on you, okay? Let's go. Hey, come on, man. Be cool. You're in the clear now. We're good. Relax. like this then you think i want to lose my license mrs desmond has anyone even remotely suggested that you're a shady lady where is he from downtown very heavy you see there's this fellow and he told a story he said that he went back home to the old plantation and he came back with a handful of these guns this fellow's a marketing expert into armaments and things like that and he tells detective buczynski that one of those guns was bought right here in your charming little boutique I don't sell guns. Of course you don't, and this dastardly individual knew that. So, he decides to fool you. He took one of these guns, and he put it in the pocket of a very expensive camel hair coat. And he hocks the coat. You see the ingenuity? He took advantage of your trusting nature. Camel hair coat. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> 